how to derive short run and long run cost functions from the given production function the question is consider the production function f of l k is equal to l to the power 1 upon 2 times k to the power 1 upon 2 l and k denotes the units of labor and capital employed or is the rental rate of capital that is price of capital is one dollar and wage rate of labor is four dollar we have to derive the short run cost function if capital is fixed at k bar in the short run and we have also to derive the long run cost function okay so let's try to solve this question so let us rewrite the given production function so f of lk let's write y is a function of f of lk which is equal to l to the power 1 upon 2 times k to the power 1 upon 2 this is a cobb douglas production function here now we are being told to derive the short run cost function when the capital is fixed in the short run okay so what happens in the short run uh, capital is fixed we can only change the amount of labor employed uh, because of the constraint that we cannot change the capital in the short run okay so if capital is fixed let us say if k is fixed at k bar then what is our production function then so our production function will be equal to y is equal to l uh, so we can rewrite this uh, production function like this also l k raised power 1 upon 2 okay so we have l and capital is fixed as k bar so i can write it as k bar raised power 1 upon 2 okay now transposing this uh, 1 upon 2 to lhs it will get reciprocated as the exponent so we will get y square is equal to l k bar solving for labor that means l will be equal to y square upon k bar okay now we have solved this for l that is the units of employed is the function of output to be produced that implies and what is the our cost we know that our total cost will be equal to and let's write it here so cost function of any firm is equal to the wage rate times units of labor employed plus rental rate of capital times units of capital employed okay here we have wage rate is being told us that w is equal to and it is being given us here w is 4 so in place of w i can write 4 l plus r is 1 so i will write 1 into k which is k and we also know that capital is fixed and we can uh, rewrite this cost function as c is equal to 4 times what is the value of l we solved it here l is equal to y square y square upon k bar that is the uh, you know capital fixed plus in place of k we have k bar again so this implies and this is actually our short run and let me write it here this is our short run short run cost function and if we want to grab this uh, short run cost function we can grab this it is uh, you know a quadrating uh, function in y that means our cost function will be let us let us show it here so we have the units of you know rather the output level on the horizontal axis and cost on the vertical axis and when units of output producer is zero what is the cost of the, uh, cost of the firm that is equal to k so our intercept will be equal to k bar here okay fixed cost and this is since it is y square it will uh, look like this we have uh, what we call the convex uh, type of cost function it will look like this and let me draw it here so it will be like this so this is our short short run cost function okay now this is uh, the solution for the first part that is uh, the cost function of the firm uh, is being given by 4 times y square upon k bar plus k bar okay now what happens in the long run in the long run both the variables are sorry both the inputs are variables we can vary both labor and capital so in the long run what is the endeavor of the uh, firm so in the long run in the long run 
long run both inputs are both inputs are variables okay that means we can vary both labor and capital <coughs> so what happens then our endeavor in the long run will be to minimize the cost okay so minimize minimize c is equal to uh, w l plus rk or simply minimize cost that means we want to minimize the cost subject to the production isocount that means subject to y is equal to that is y is equal to l to the power 1 upon 2 k to the power 1 upon 2 okay so in the long run since both the variables both the inputs are variables the firm will try to minimize this cost function subject to this production isocount okay this production constraint now uh, how do we solve this kind of question simple thing so let us write it here minimize cost which is equal to this stuff here we want to minimize the cost for that we have the first order condition or optimal you know first order condition for optimal inputs of labor and capital require that we equate the marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital with the price of labor times sorry divided by price of capital and let me explain it here what is the endeavor of the firm in the long run so let us say we have units of labor on the horizontal axis units of capital on the vertical axis with given production isocount and let's draw it here so this is our isocount firm wants to produce uh, you know this level of output with the minimum cost and minimum cost will occur at a point and let's uh, draw some you know uh, iso cost uh, line is here so let us say this is ic1 uh, here let us say this is ic2 ic2 so optimal combinations of labor and capital will be at a point where the slope of the iso count is equal to the slope of iso cost line what is the iso cost line this very function and what is the iso count function okay this is the iso count function so at this point our tangency condition is satisfied that is at this point when the slope of the iso cost line and the slope of iso count are equal we say at this point marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital is equal to the input price ratio that is price of labor upon price of capital what is MRTS? MRTS is simply the ratio of marginal product of labor upon marginal product of capital. It should be equal to price of labor upon price of capital. Price of labor is W, price of capital is R in the given question. What is MPL? Marginal product of labor. That is simply the partial derivative of the production function uh, with respect to labor. And what is MPK? the partial derivative of production function this production function with respect to capital and it should be equal to w upon r w is being given as 4 r is equal to 1 solving this uh, you know stuff here and let us solve it here dy upon dl means partially differentiating this function with respect to l okay so since we are taking partials here the derivative of l to the power 1 upon 2 will be equal to 1 upon 2 will become coefficient then we have l and 1 upon 2 will be subtracted by 1 by power function rule if we have l raised power n its derivative is simply n l raised power n minus 1 exponent becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 let us say we have l raised power 5 its derivative will be equal to 5 becomes coefficient l to the power 5 minus 1 which is 5 l to the power 4 and same thing applies here so dy upon dl means the derivative of sorry the exponent of l becomes coefficient so we have 1 upon 2 and exponent is subtracted by 1 that is 1 upon 2 minus 1 and k to the power 1 upon 2 will remain same because we are taking the partials keeping k constant divided by symmetrically dy upon dk means the partial derivative of this function with respect to capital this time okay so the exponent 
of capital will become coefficient we have one upon two l raised power one upon two will remain same because we are taking the partial with respect to capital and k will become k to the power one upon two minus one and it should be equal to four here okay so this stuff gets cancelled we will get l to the power one upon two minus one is minus one upon two and here we have k to the power one upon two divided by here we have l to the power one upon two k to the power minus one upon two which implies and if we solve it here if i transpose this capital here and this uh, uh, labor here what will happen here uh, it will become and let me write it here it will become k upon l is equal to 4 okay simple thing we have l to the power minus 1 upon 2 upon l to the power 1 upon 2 what i have done here i have transposed this to numerator sorry denominator it has become like this l to the power 1 upon 2 times it will get multiplied but exponent side will change so we have l to the power 1 upon 2 it will become 1 upon since bases are same we can add up the exponents 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 adds up to 1 so we get 1 upon l here and similarly when we transpose this k to the power minus 1 upon 2 it will become k to the power plus 1 upon 2 in the numerator okay solving for solving for k so k will be equal to 4 times l then what will we do we simply plug the value of k is equal to 4l into our production isocount that is the value of k is equal to 4l in this equation so y is equal to uh, l to the power 1 upon 2 in place of k we have uh, 4 l to the power 1 upon 2 solving this it will become l to the power 1 upon 2 uh, 4 is power 1 upon 2 l to the power 1 upon 2 that is y will be equal to l to the power 1 upon 2 l to the power 1 upon 2 bases are same we can add the exponent so it becomes l here and 4 raised power 1 upon 2 is 2 square raised power 1 upon 2 2 and 2 gets cancelled so we will get 2 times l okay now we plug y is equal to 2l in this equation to find the you know value of k so k will be equal to 4 times the value of l is 2 sorry uh, the value of okay y is equal to 2l let me see if i have done some mistake here so solving for this so l is equal to this or if i rewrite this here okay if i solve this for l here sorry for this stuff we can solve this for l so l will be equal to dividing both sides by 2 l will be equal to y upon 2 rather we have to plug the value of l in this equation so what will we get and let us see here so in place of k sorry we have k will be equal to 4 times the value of l l is equal to y upon 2 here 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 so k will be equal to 2 times y okay so we got the conditional input demands for capital and labor here conditional in the sense these are conditional upon the amount of uh, you know output to be produced here now uh, what will be then the total cost long run total cost will be equal to w l plus rk and we know w is 2 sorry w is 4 and l we got is the value of l is y upon 2 plus r is 1 and k is equal to 2y solving this so we will get 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 that means uh, long run total cost function will be equal to so 2y plus 2y is 4y okay so this is our long run cost function and here you can see long run cost function is linear that means it will look like this okay this is our long run cost function i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you